What's going on everyone? This is Dan French. You guys know me from Proppy Land, LV Crib Tours. We have a new one here, Proppy Land uh, channel that we really started to uh, launch and I'm gonna stick with this name. It's gonna be Dan French, uh, Proppy Land by Dan French. So if you guys have any questions about that, let me know. We're here at a move-in ready. I'm doing a lot of move-in ready homes right now and this is gonna be 1421. We're out here, this is Signature Homes. Signature Homes is uh, selling this house right now, 425,000. And uh, incentives are offered if you use the builder's lender. Um, also too, uh, there's a $175 HOA, so it's a little steep, but you know what? This thing's upgraded throughout. It's a townhome and a $425,000 price, $10,000 for lot premium. Let's go take a look at it. You know, there's a lot of good information uh, to, to take from a, a home like this here in Henderson. We're right off the uh, 95 freeway, uh, not far from Sunset Station, which is right down here. You got the 95 freeway right here, and there's an easement in the back of the house that really keeps the separation. So you're not gonna have anybody behind you. It's really private. So let's go take a look at this house. Uh, you can see it's a two car garage. I already have the garage open. We'll take a look at it. Hopefully you guys like it. We'll make an offer. All right, so let's get right into it. You have a two car garage, and this is gonna be a townhome that's attached, right? So uh, we all know that there's different uh, definitions of what people think a townhome versus a condo is. And a townhome's its own lot, it's its own dwelling. It's 100% the buyer's or the owner's own dwelling. So let's get right into it. Right when you walk in, I mean, first off, what the foyer is is very open for a town for a townhome for me. Now, right off to the left-hand side, which is really unique and nice about this house is you have a nice big opening here. You can do a lot for this room. This is right when you come into the garage. Um, you know, you can have a place where you set your keys, whatever you want to do, but this is neat, right? This is different. The flooring on here, you got vinyl wood flooring, like a grayish tint, as you can see to this, uh, the tile. And then it walks right out to the garage where we were just at. So two car garage, can't go wrong. I know Henderson, 425,000. What really pops to me is the five inch uh, baseboards here. And the color of this, these cabinets, you're gonna see the same color stream inside the uh, kitchen is slate. This is gonna be quartz countertop. And it's, there's like three different colors. This is the, the gray, and this is exactly what you're gonna get. This is the house you would get. Coming across over here, you have your first bathroom. This is gonna be the, uh, you know, any company that you have over, this is gonna be their bathroom. So. Same, same consistency on the countertop. You got an upgraded faucet head right there. So it's not a, not a deep sink, but it's really nice. But for me, I'm looking at this house, open floor plan. You have the stairs here. The stairs are also have the, the wood flooring. So going all the way up the stairs, the rails, um, nine foot ceilings. Now the kitchen is very open. Uh, I do like this area where you can what people want to do is you can see right here is they want to eat breakfast or whatever they're going to do if they have company over. The only thing I would have an issue with potentially is if you tried to put chairs here, it would be, you know, maybe run into an issue where you have people coming in through the house and there's just not a lot of room here. It wouldn't be a problem if you're sitting here having breakfast or just hanging out or you have family over, that's not a problem, but I like the color stream of the house, nine foot ceilings, Okay, you got deep sinks here, um, standard uh, faucet head right here. Again, this is slate, and this is a 36 inch. They won't do 42 inch in Henderson uh, unless you have 10 foot ceilings. So because we're on a nine foot ceiling cap here, we go upstairs, it's gonna be eight because this is a two story townhome. Uh, then you're gonna see that, uh, you know, maybe we can get a bigger, size of the cabinets. Light gray tile as a backsplash that comes with, these are pretty big upgrades. If you were to come in and buy this house, you know, uh, let's say a year ago, you'd be paying a pretty good premium for a house like this. This is moving ready. This is quartz countertop and this is a white. So I really like the way this looks. All these appliances come with the house, Whirlpool, uh, bumper to bumper first year in case something happens. They're always gonna make some adjustments potentially, but I do like, just the layout, you have the, the crown top here and the top of the 
the cabinets as well just to kind of uh, close it off. So it all looks good. Uh, LED lighting at the top here. So it really opens up this, this house. Uh, walking in here, this is a very big living room. You can hear it echoing because there's nothing else. All the sound is bouncing just off the walls. But storage area right here. And this is a really good size. Like I said, you're gonna have a great area for if you wanna put, you just gotta, you gotta think about this, right? Where you would have your uh, dining room. Uh, you know, you got the light right here with the, the light fixture. And so there's a lot to work with on this house. Let's go outside. I wanna show you something real quick. A lot of people just want to know where, where is this at, right? Oh. See if we can get around this here. Okay, so pretty standard walls, AC unit, brand new. You can see, like I said, there's an easement. This is not a huge backyard, but you're not gonna get a ton of backyard when you're, when you're buying into a townhome. There's a lot you can do with it though. You know, you can't put a pool back here, but you can probably put some type of, um, you know, patio cover or something out here, put some chairs, whatever you wanna do, put a little bit of landscaping. They've already started it. Back here is an easement that they have here, and that's part of the park. You can see right over there, there's a place to sit, and you can kind of walk your dog back here if you wanted to. So this is all, this is a gated community. They already do have the uh, artificial grass in here. So they've pretty much set it up for you, you know? Now, what I do know too is <clears throat> a lot of people think they're gonna get a deal in this market, and they will. There's nothing wrong with this asking for something, and you have to ask. You know, that's the big thing with builders is, with anybody, you have to ask and see if they're, what they're willing to take. And I know builders right now are, you know, they're willing to get things off the books, get things satisfied or completed, right? This house has already been upgraded to the hilt, and uh, the knobs have been an up upgrade on, on the cabinets. Um, so there's a lot of things to be you know, happy about nice big walk-in pantry. So you can turn this light on here. I don't know if you can see here, um, but you have a walk-in pantry here. So you can see that. Being a townhome, it's, it's pretty unique. Like I, I like how they have this layout. 425,000 to start. So let's go upstairs. It's a two-story home. Take a look around. You have the railings. Now we're at an eight foot ceiling, but as you walk straight up, washer, dryer set up right there. And if you come off to the left, this is a office, maybe a den, or I don't know, maybe you make it into a loft. There is no um, closet, so it's gonna be just uh, an area for, like I said, a den, or maybe you just put it into an office, which I think most people will. So this is a room here, I would say my best estimation on this room, this move-in ready home out here in Henderson with signature homes is probably nine by 11. It's not huge, standard closet. The lighting is good though. Look at the, let's, let's take a look, look at this lighting right here that I see. I mean, that's, it's pretty neat. They got LED lighting right here in the house. So, all right, let's go out. Just want to give you guys an idea what you're getting into at 425,000, they have more here for shelving right here. So any linens or anything you wanna put in right there. And then another room, this one looks 10 by 12, not much bigger, maybe slightly bigger. Same lighting, I like the lighting that they have. And then you actually have, you have a walk-in closet. Let's see how far back, oh, it just goes to right here. So not bad though, a walk-in closet. You know, and I'm showing this house because a lot of people with interest rates going up, builders are gonna help buy down the rate almost in every situation, right, with the closing costs. At 425,000, it's very, I think it's manageable. Doesn't mean you can be happy about it, but it's manageable. You have your standard shower enclosure, shower head upgrade, faucet, and uh, all this is an upgrade here. The, this is really just a, a complete upgraded house from all areas that I see for the most part. Uh, another quartz countertop, remember this is similar, consistent with what was down there going into the, from the garage. And then an upgraded faucet head too as well. 
you know, you got your slate um, cabinets, the color, and then your gray, this is like a dark gray vinyl wood flooring. And they've done this throughout the house, which is really, really nice. You know, a lot of people, if you have pets, you don't want the carpet, you know? You don't want things that's gonna have an issue. Now here, really big open uh, master owner suite. We'll say owner suite, right? Um, I'm trying to turn the light on here. There you go. So this is, I mean, this is deep. This is probably 30 by 30. And with what I see here, you have, there's your uh, attic right there. You know, a lot of times, a lot of these homes, that's where the furnace is at. We saw the AC unit, five inch baseboards. Uh, so they really went, went crazy. Now, one of the things I looked at, and I've talked to this person about it, is you see this line right here. They say this is where it was taped, right? And well, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, well, they're gonna fix this, right? And he goes, yeah, you know, most of these builders have to come through once the house settles and they need to fix these things. So that's one of the things that the builder is gonna fix coming into this house. So walking into this, you'll still have all the same uh, warranty and everything that they've provided if you were gonna buy it coming into the builder is new. This is an upgraded enclosure with the window. That's definitely an upgrade. Uh, this is tile right here, gray tile. So uh, I know the tub is an upgrade, shower, uh, the shower head and the faucet upgraded. You have your dual sinks. And again, the same consistency, this is quartz with the upgraded faucet head and the slate with the knobs. And what I really liked about this house too was look at how deep this, and this is a townhome, right? In Henderson. I mean, this is a really nice townhome. Uh, how deep the uh, closet is here. So you can hang things. And for somebody out there that's looking to buy a house just to get started, I mean, this is a way better. I had a house and it was a, just a very basic house. Um, I got started with, right? And this would be, just blow my house away. Like I had no upgrades in it. I think the only, I had carpet throughout the house. I mean, the only thing that the lady did was that I bought it from was put tile downstairs, but you get a starter home and you can just see how big this town home is, you know, and it's a really nice town home. We're going to have all the specs, all the information, uh, in the comment section. So if you have any questions on, you know, they even have the, uh, the vents at the top here, when you close the door, is less sound, you know? So they've really done this house or this townhome from, you know, all the upgrade options that's available. I would say at least, I'm gonna say 90% of them have been put in. And you're walking into a house where the builder's motivated, 425,000 in Henderson, which is a very nice area. It's a very safe area. Henderson's a very safe, for the most part, city and you're really close to you know all the stores you have lowe's not too far home depot's right down the street best buy walmart um you have sunset casino i mean we're not far from all that and you're in a gated community so that's it so we just ended up seeing this house here uh 1421 and uh, Pink Dawn, right? Everybody's like, well, what's Pink Dawn, right? That's the street. So uh, I always think of Red Dawn, so it was real easy for me to remember. But I look at this house and I say, you know, there's a lot of, you know, it's taking out all the guesswork. Now I get it, it's $175 HOA. I understand also it's a townhome, but I see properties coming down a little bit, even more. I, I would say, you know, maybe another 10%. So it's gonna be a lot more, but at some point, we're gonna plateau. And this townhome, if you're trying to get into a townhome, first time home buyer, somebody that's trying to potentially get started in buying a house, this could be your perfect opportunity to get into something where it's all upgraded, everything's ready. I know the gentleman here, his name's Taryn, he's a real nice guy that's let me in here. We've had a good discussion. Um, if I have any questions or anything, he's gonna help me out. And like I said, anything's on the table. So, subscribe to my channel. Property Land by Dan French. That's my new channel name. I like it. Uh, I also have LV Crib Tours, but we're going to really start promoting both. Property Land. Also, I have a podcast. Check that out. And if you guys are looking for a real estate agent, you have all my contact information below. 
I'd love to work for you and roll up my sleeves, work hard, help you guys out, find your next home. Like I said, subscribe, like the channel. We'll see you guys at the next one. I'm out of here.